Ronnie here with TMC. I'm at the Alcatel Lucent booth at CES 2012. I'm playing a really cool interactive game with Silvio Fernandez here. Silvio, how are you? Uh, good, Rich. How are you? I'm getting my butt kicked by you <laughs> right now, but other than that, I'm doing really well. Uh, well, I have more experience than you have uh, on this, right? I think you are, Well, you work at the company, so you should know how this thing works. Exactly. I, I know all the secrets. I just tried this out. So this is part of the NG Connect program. Sylvia, what is the NG Connect program? Well, NG Connect is probably the, uh, the coolest aspect of the telecom industry. So it's, a, it's really a, an open innovation system that uh, was launched by Agatha Lucent in 2009. And uh, the idea of the program is to create all these uh, cool, compelling, uh, what we call service concepts, right? That showcase the art of the possible when a bunch of companies in multiple industries come together. Um, and the, the other cool thing about it is that we are not only, as you see, focused on telecom, but uh, we expand to different industries. So this is clearly an example of one of the themes of NG Connect, which is public entertainment. But um, uh, on the surface, you're just playing a game, but the, this table, which is called the Game Time Media Table, table uh, has other capabilities. So it's a medium to deliver content. So you can deliver all kinds of contents, and as people are interacting, they can actually purchase content. So it's not only public entertainment, but it also has a retail aspect to it. So it's a way that we enable the current customers to have a retail experience and a presence in the retail business. So Sylvia, um, we're going to take a tour through your booth and see some of the other compelling things that you're doing today. This is really exciting. Yep. And uh, I want to hear all about NG Connect and how it's helping carrier partners and how it's, it's really taking this uh, ecosystem of disparate industries and bringing it all together. I mean, you guys were way ahead of the game when you saw this convergence of multiple industries coming together and then you put together this... Um, this, do we call it a group, a membership? What do we call it well, exactly? Well, we call it an industry initiative, or you can call it an ecosystem, but it's a lot bigger than that. Uh, so it's more of a program. And there are new components to the program. So you are mostly familiar with the ecosystem, which is a group of 150 companies. But there are new elements, uh, namely two of them are the Open Innovation Center, which is a space and it's a methodology that we have for service providers to actually create and deliver those services to their customers. And another element is what we call the Gravity Center. Gravity is an attracting things. And it's a space for entrepreneurs and for startup companies. So we stimulate them, we seed them, and we help them create even more ideas that then get fed into the NG Connect and in turn result in the new service. Sylvia, I can't believe you distracted me talking to you about NG Connect and then beating me in that racing game. <laughs> Wasn't fair. Yeah. I want a rematch. Okay, we'll do that. <clears throat> what do we have here now? So now this is a new service concept it's called Next Generation TV. And it's a way to deliver not only the traditional linear TV, but different pieces of TV content and content in general without a set of box. So essentially we have a connected TV and you've seen, if you walk the show, the connected TVs and all the rages is here, along with tablets, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So along with 3D, along with Ultrabooks. Correct. So there's a lot of really hot things, but connected TV is so important. Right. So there's a reason why we call this NG Connect two years ago, right? We, we believe in connected services. We think that people are naturally connected. And entertainment, I think it's part of what we do in our social lives. So this is a way to deliver that entertainment to a TV into a TV experience, right? It's also a way for carriers to be able to deliver their content and not have to pay the price of different set-up boxes. I mean, they, get, they, they age, it's very expensive for them. So this is set-up box less. So you can deliver any kind of content, and that's what you see there. So you can go to the traditional linear programming TV, and see that programming, or you can choose whatever you want. Now, how, does the TV need to be enabled in any way? Does it need to be a... Wi-Fi TV, how does that work? It's connected, uh, so it could be Wi-Fi, it could be wired, right? Okay. But uh, yeah, everything is based on the principles of connectivity, so it's connected and uses services. So this is a clear example of that. Now, does it work with all t TVs or um, are there certain ones? The, the newer TV, so we have to yeah. have the stack that supports right the uh, the software, the little applications that run on the TV. But that's becoming pretty standard now, right? So I Absolutely. myself have a connected TV in my house. So this is an extension of that. It uses Agatelus and CDN, so the content delivery network, and that can, that can be capitalized by the service providers. So they can host it, they can manage it, so they can make new revenue, net new revenue out of these services that are entertainment to your sure. house. So we're increasing ARPU and we're also increasing stickiness so people don't abandon uh, their traditional service for something else. Correct, and it's also replacing uh, data traffic that is not monetized today. So this is a way for the carrier to monetize some of the data traffic. We're over here in the Avatrainer portion of the Alcatel-Lucent booth. What's Ava Trainer, Silvio? Well, Ava Trainer that. is our health and wellness uh, theme, so it really stands for Avatar, Avatar, and Trainer. So it's a way for people to virtually train and follow the progress in an avatar. 
So what's a typical uh, use case of this? Well, we think that this is perfect for, say, a hotel environment. I mean, we have the gyms and hotels, so, but you can also exercise in your room. So in this case, this application is using a digital side, but it could equally use maybe a TV screen in your room. And assuming that you have a room, say, with a, with a motion sensing device, so we scan your body and we put that in the database in the cloud. So then you have an exercise routine that you can follow. And of course, we're going to track your biometrics and store them in the cloud as well. So you can determine how much or how well or how poorly you're doing with respect to the routine that you're trying to follow. So and this then, allows carriers to really be competitive with some of the latest consumer well, electronics devices out there. Correct. And the carrier can just uh, take this and offer this to hotels, for instance, or gyms, or you know, right. high-end gyms or something like that. We, we see this mostly for the hotel kind of environment. That, that's the use case that we're seeing here. Silvio, what do we have over here now? Well, it's a, it's a big truck, as you can see, and uh, it's definitely getting a lot of attention, a lot of traffic. And this was actually, uh, it's been showcased by our, what do we call internal franchises of uh, NG Connect within Alcatelusa, and it's our 4G LT public safety group. So it's a vehicle that's completely dedicated to, to public safety situations. And the cool thing about this is that it has a complete LTE mini network in the trunk. And you guys can see that. So you can drive this vehicle to an emergency zone, a disaster zone, and immediately get coverage for all the emergency responders. And the other interesting thing about this is that it doesn't change the technology that they're using today. So it allows to uh, cohesively communicate or have different people communicate using their existing technology. And only so the authenticated devices, so only the emergency workers. Only, only the emergency, exactly. It's exactly for emergency responders. So it has other technology built in. So it has uh, face recognition cameras you see up in the post there. And it can connect via, say, a satellite link to you know, the head end in some, some other location. So it can provide connectivity in an area or can, can provide connectivity back to the network right anywhere you want. So it also has uh, video monitoring capabilities. I mean, you see that in the video, we have seven streams going on at the same time with high quality running over LTE. So that's showcasing some of the abilities of LTE for public safety. And it also has emergency messaging uh, solutions, right, for, for responders done by one of our partners, uh, Boxer. So that's different technologies from different partners that are part of this vehicle today. That's great. Thank you so much.